to feel confident before you have a stack of proof sometimes requires selectively turning off certain parts of your mind and allowing other parts to come to the forefront. And when I recently explained this to a client in a consultation, he responded, oh, so you mean lie to yourself. My response. All right, Elevation Nation conversations. We ran across a therapist and he was speaking and talking and giving his take on the fake it till you make it model. So uh, let's take a listen to what he has to say and how he break it down. Uh, come back and give you my opinion on it and see what you think. Peace. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. Elevation Nation conversation. Sky body shine. Elevation Nation conversation. Hit that like, share, subscribe button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Your man, God, Body Sean, I'm here. I'm with you. Happy Easter or happy Resurrection Day. However you celebrate it, whatever religion, whatever belief you have. Hope you're enjoying the family and are doing your thing. But uh, I'm here. <laughs> we here. Want to jump right into it. I saw a clip. I saw a clip of a psychiatrist. Um... And he was giving his take on the um, fake it till you make it. The fake it till you make it, uh, I guess, model. Or I want to say logo, but it's like the model or mindset. And I 100% agree with it. What he was saying, I 100% agree with it. Uh, I think it's all truth. Uh, definitely works it's a model that i used in my life and i still use to this day and it, it does me good um you know i handle business with it i get to the i get to the goals i get the uh, i get the mission accomplished and i've always known about it and heard about it since i was a kid since i was a shorty back in chicago fake it till you make it fake it till you make it and uh it can be done in, in, you know, it can be done the correct way, in the right way, in a good way. And it can also be done in a, uh, I don't want to say a bad way, but it can also be done in a way where it's not as productive, or you find yourself looking, looking like a fool or looking crazy. But uh, we're gonna let the, we're gonna let the doctor uh, speak about it, give his take on it. Uh, I want to know if you agree with it. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you ever used this technique. Has it ever worked for you? Let me know how you feel about it. Um, hit that like, share, subscribe button, and then I'll come back and give you my take on uh, my commentary on it. To feel confident before you have a stack of proof sometimes requires selectively turning off certain parts of your mind and allowing other parts to come to the forefront. And when I recently explained this to a client in a consultation, he responded, oh, so you mean lie to yourself. My response to that pushback was, is it a lie or is it just not true yet? Like what temporal horizon are you operating under? Yes, maybe you can't do it in this exact moment, but the self-doubt that thinks that may not be looking at the bigger picture. If you have a compelling and extrapolated vision for your future, and if you believe that over a long enough timeline, you will either find a way or make a way, then on some level, you've already done the thing. You just haven't done it Yet. All right, what y'all think about that? That's that fake it till you make it concept, uh, ideology, thought process. I'm very familiar with it. It's one of the reasons why I call myself God Body Sean. I believe in myself. I believe in my power. I believe it. The higher power that puts the power in me to do whatever it is I want to do on this earth. It's called God Body Theology. Do as thou wilt. Righteously or uh, horribly or wrongly, whatever, but whatever you do will get you results, whether it be bad or good. The fake it till you make it, it's just like the, uh, the doctor said, it's basically lying to yourself. It's outworking and out it's out thinking and tricking your mind to put you in a position of already being there or having it or gotten to that level while you're in the process and that keeps you motivated and it keeps you going it keeps you pushing forward it keeps you focused on that task and that goal at hand 
variations in my vision let my train off track like a lot of athletes do it a lot of actors entertainers do it a lot of business people do it it's like with an actor when they're practicing and they're in a role you know you're, you're role playing you're playing a character you're playing make-believe so you dress up in costume you put it in your mindset and your thought process that you are this character and you're in this made up world whether it be on a set or a movie set or whatever and you project your thoughts out as if you're there or you are that person and you produce that whether it be movie screen the camera things like that that's on a smaller level because it you know movies are make-believe and they only last for as long as the, the movie lasts or whatever but it's kind of the same concept where you think it speak it be it and you put it you bring it into reality you project it because you already think of it as it are it's already done it, it says it in the bible i'm not a real big bible scholar I, you know so i don't know all the verses and the quotes and things like that but uh i know there's a passage in it where it says something like uh as it is in heaven as it uh, shall be on earth or uh give thanks as if it's already has been done so you project those things into the universe and you bring them to you because you're moving toward it while you're project projecting and thinking and bringing it towards you and then you guys meet at that central point i like to i like to use the analogy of uh when i want to do music i would look at the tv i would listen to the records and i would project and think myself say man i could be on that stage doing that i remember i saw one of my first concerts i think it was like fresh fest or something like that and it was uh like fat boys and I think Houdini and LL Cool J and all that. But when I saw them up on that stage doing that, I would always think, man, I could do that. I want to be that. I, you know, I could do that. And I projected it and put myself in that position. And so when it got around to the point when I wanted to start doing music and doing music, I was faking it till I make it. I was calling myself an artist. I am a rapper. I am, I am, I am, I am. And while you're calling and speaking what you are and you're doing and you're moving, you're bringing it to you. It's just that simple. It's not It's not rocket science. Uh, it's not anything hard. It's having belief in self. God body theology. Fake it till you make it. Or believe till you achieve. That's a better way of saying it. You know, believe till you achieve. Or uh, believe till you receive. Those are minor concepts, but they are huge in getting what you want, getting to your destiny, getting to your goals, um, getting to your dreams. It's massive. It's major. It's definitely major. And you need those type of skill sets and those abilities if you want to do anything in, in life. You have to believe you can do it before you even do it. You have to speak it as if it's already is before it actually is. I hate to get on my meta, my metaphysical uh, tip, <laughs> but it's in a lot. It's in a lot of books that I've I've read. The, it's, it's one book that I read called The Laws of Thinking. Matter of fact, hold on, hold on, let me go get that book. Yeah. It's a book called The Laws of Thinking by uh, Bishop Bernard E. Jordan. I think that was the author of it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, Bishop E. Bernard Jordan. I'm sorry, my, my book is all. I've really been using it, been reading it. You know, you, you can see, <laughs> but it's tattered. But uh, basically, it's just a book to tell you about the laws of thinking, like the law of habit. Uh, let me see. The law of risk. You know, these are all the law of writing. That's when you basically you're writing something down 
and you, once you write it down, you're committing it to paper, you're committing it to the universe. Now you actually see it and it makes you accountable to what you've been writing and it puts that process in motion to bring it to you what you want and what you need. So this is a very simple way of saying it, of a belief in self, believe in your ability and it does come to you. Fake it till you make it. Very basic concept, but it is real. Uh, like I said, the law of attraction. This book has a lot of the laws that bring things to you, like the law of spirit. Uh, it's basically all in here. It's an excellent book by Bernard E. Jordan. Excellent book. And uh, it's definitely worth reading, uh, keeping, and uh, having it in your reach. Because it does help you uh, manifest and get those things that you have a desire and a passion for. But uh, back to the rap thing. I always believed and thought and saw myself on TV, on record, in the studio, on stage. I had already saw it before I actually did any of it. So now the next step and the next process in it was me following through with my actions. And follow, me following through with uh, finding music, writing my raps down, getting my raps perfected, going to the studio, uh, getting those verses down, recording those verses, putting it all together in a cohesive patch and, uh, package and project, and there it go. And then you put that out and you start to gain motion and you move it around to get it in position to where the end product is, you on stage or you on TV or you on that video. It all came from a thought, you writing it down, you committing to it, you focusing on it, you moving toward it. Hit that like, share, subscribe button, tell me what you think, drop a comment in the comment section. Elevation Nation conversation, we don't just talk about bullshit over here, we drop a little game, drop a little knowledge, anything that we can use and you know, add to our life to help us build and grow and continue elevating, getting to the next level, doing big things, great things. But uh, the fake it till you make it concept is definitely real. Laws of attraction is all the same thing. God, body, theology, that's my thing. That's why I call myself God, body, Sean. I believe that you can bring things to you. You can make things uh, materialize in your life at will. If you're focused on it, you're going about the right process of doing those things and bringing those things to you. So it's all within our reach and within our power. And uh, I definitely agree with this doctor for what he's talking about. Uh, fake it till you make it. <laughs> you know, but there are, there are, there are a lot of uh, people that don't understand the law and they'll fake it and just fake it and fake it. They'll fake it and uh, what they call capping, but they're not doing the, the uh, they're not going through the process to actually make it fruition or make it come, to make it come to fruition. So you can fake it and not make it because you, you fake it, I mean, you're faking it, but you're not putting in the work and the process. So you're not tricking nobody. You're not tricking yourself. You're not tricking your mind into believing that, yeah, it really is doable. It is a process and you can't get it. So you have to do the work and you have to do the process. It's all a process. You can't shortcut the process. A lot of people have tried and failed or a lot of people have tried and they, they wind their ass up in jail somewhere or, or uh, down bad, you know. You have to go through the process. You have to be diligent. You have to be dedicated. You know, you have to be committed. It's, it's funny. I had a record that, that talked about this concept. It was a record called uh, Committed Till I Get It. <laughs> yeah, Committed Till I Get It. That was a, the name of the record. And I basically put in the record everything that I learned from that book, from the laws of attraction on how to bring things to me at will. So that's one of the beautiful things about knowing your power and knowing your God body energy. You make those things come to you, you bring them to you. you know, this is for my brothers, definitely, you know. You definitely have to have belief in yourself. You definitely have to have a goal. You have to have a vision. Uh, you have to follow through with it. Uh, you, you have to be committed, like I said, committed to you get it. And it does come, it does come to fruition. And it does materialize in your life. So I agree with this psychologist. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment in the comment section. 
Hit that like, share, subscribe button. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Can you fake it till you make it? Is that real or is that just talk? Have you ever done it? Have you ever known somebody that did it? Uh, can you do it? Uh, let me know. So drop a comment in the comment section. I'll check y'all on next one. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Hit that like, share, subscribe button. Once again, like I said, we're trying to build the channel. We're going to grow it. We're we getting to that thousand mark, thousand sub mark, supporter mark. And uh, we're going to keep growing and, and building. Hey, this is an example of it. Uh, I was just about to sign out, but this is an example of it. January 2024, I saw myself saying, hey, I'm going to get me 100,000 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers. I already uh, said it in my mind and I envisioned it and saw it. And then I started faking it till I make it. Then I started going through the process of doing the videos, doing the uploads, uh, doing the process. And it does come. It don't come overnight. It don't come instantly. But it does come. And it's coming right now. This channel is living proof of it. <laughs> so how you like that? <laughs> but uh, hit that like, share, subscribe button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And I'll check y'all on the next one. Peace. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. Elevation Nation conversation. God, body, shine.